Hello there, this is Stone Sevy. Today I'm going to show you how to operate a brother sewing machine. The brand of sewing machine you will use may vary. This one in particular, the model of this sewing machine is the Brother CS6000i. Like any other machine, the first thing you need to do is take inventory of what you have. And you should have the basic machine, your paddle, and your power connector. This is the power connector. It goes right here. Plugs in here, the pedal plugs back here. Pretty easy. This is the power button. Most importantly, you need to go over the machine's manual. Uh, so you know where to go when you have questions. The first area that you should be familiar with is the power button. This is the on and off button. So when you click it, the power should come on. When you push this pedal, it operates the machine. Here's the face. This is the start and stop button. This is the reverse or the reinforcement button. This right here is your repositioning of the needle button. And of course, this is your speed. This area here determines the setup of your stitches. See right here, you can tell that there's numbers and those numbers when you press these buttons right here will match the stitches. This face right here will also give you a recommendation of the presser foot. So you see here in the middle that is now telling you that's the type of presser foot that you use. There are various presser foots that come with the machine and it's stored in here. This area tells you the distance of the stitches as well as the positioning of the needle in comparison to the center of that uh, machine. This is the tensioner for your thread. This positions your needle assembly up or down. This here is where you place your thread, it goes up and down, normally, you would do it this way, and then feed the thread through there, and through your machine, and I'll show you that in a minute. This is your bobbin, replenish the bobbin, when it's empty. See this bobbin right here, it goes in there, and you can replenish it, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Other features of this machine, this is the needle, and to remove that, you have to unscrew this if you needed to replace that. This area is your presser foot, and if you need to replace that, you just press a button behind here. If you press that, it should come down and you can replace it. This is the area in which you place your bobbin. This, like I said, can be removed so that you can stitch smaller things that goes here. You can see there's also pictures on the directions on how to replace the bobbin uh, thread. Uh, like, like I said, this is the extra materials and parts that comes with the machine. All right, it's pretty easy to follow because there are pictures what you need to do. So if you need to fill your bobbin, then you follow this one right here. So I wanna use a black thread because that's what I'm normally gonna use. What we're gonna do is we're going to feed it in here 
and like this according to the picture All right and then when we get it in here you want to make sure that you're going in this direction and then you lock it once you lock it then now you need to use the presser foot to make that turn but just hold on to this for now fill them up to maybe about half or three quarters not too much once you're finished you need to cut it leave that for now because we're going to use that it's for demonstration and then your bobbin is or have thread in it see okay setting up the, the thread pretty easy right you feed it in like I said you follow these you know so one and then two and then it goes in here three and then it goes inside here as you can see that if I move it up and down okay so one thing that I did not mention earlier is that there is a feeder for your thread which is this when you press that down something engages this hole and takes your thread and thread it through however mine is broken uh, I don't know what happened but uh, the teeth broke off of mine so I'm not going to use that what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the thread manually Okay, once you feed it through, just hold on to it because we're going to use that to get your bobbin set up. So now let's go ahead and set up our bobbin. Again, you can't go wrong by following the instructions. Take a look at the pictures, make sure the pictures are doing it correctly. Pretty easy. One, two, three. There you go. And then let's put the cover back on. Okay, and then now you're ready to feed the bobbin up there. So you go here and use the wheel to get this thing up and down. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. When it goes back up, it grabs the thread on the bobbin and you can feel it come up and it's up here now but we need to feed it through so let's grab a tweezer a tweezer here and there it is That's about five inches up there to make sure that you're ready to sew now listen you should be ready to use your sewing machine by now and I'm going to show you a couple of clips of me using it previously but uh, like I said if you're running into problems with it refer to your uh, manual or your instructions because that's going to give you the troubleshooting technique you need to be able to fix what's wrong with this be patient with it as like I said the more you use it the more you get used to it and you get to get better at it so uh, this is actually a machine that can do quilting as well however I haven't really kind of uh, gone through that and done that so please enjoy the rest of this video so that's how to operate a Brother 6 CS6000i sewing machine 
I hope you learned something from that. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. That's all for now and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe.